continue with our Bible reading. But before we read, shall we just have a moment of prayer? Father, 
we are asking that you will open our eyes of understanding as we read your word today. We are asking that relevant passages that really speak to our present needs and problems, spiritually and physically and materially, you will impress upon our hearts. Be with us, enlighten us, instruct us, teach us as we read together now. In Jesus' name, I pray. We'll continue with the reading now. The Book of the Prophet Isaiah The Book of the Prophet Isaiah Chapter 19 Chapter 19 The Burden of Egypt Behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud, and shall come into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof. And they shall seek to the idols, and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to the wizards. And the Egyptians will I give over into the hand of a cruel lord, and a fierce king shall rule over them, saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts. And the waters shall fail from the sea, and the river shall be wasted and dried up. And they shall turn the rivers far away, and the brooks of defense shall be emptied and dried up, the reeds and flags shall wither. The paper reeds by the brooks, by the mouth of the brooks, and everything sown by the brooks shall wither, be driven away, and be no more. The fishers also shall mourn, and all they that cast angle into the brooks shall lament, and they that spread nets upon the waters shall languish. Moreover, they that work in fine flax, and they that weave networks, shall be confounded. And they shall be broken in the purposes thereof, all that make sluices and ponds for fish. Surely the princes of Zoan are fools. The counsel of the wise counselors of Pharaoh is become brutish. How say ye unto Pharaoh, I am the son of the wise, the son of ancient kings? Where are they? Where are thy wise men? And let them tell thee now, and let them know what the Lord of hosts hath purposed upon Egypt. The princes of Zoan are become fools, the princes of Nof are deceived. They have also seduced Egypt, even they that are the stay of the tribes thereof. The Lord hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head or tail, branch or rush, may do. In that day shall Egypt be like unto women, and it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts, which he shaketh over it. And the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. Every one that maketh mention thereof shall be afraid in himself because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts, which he hath determined against it. In that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan, and swear to the Lord of hosts, one shall be called the city of destruction. In that day shall there be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt, and a pillar at the border thereof to the Lord. And it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt. For they shall cry unto the Lord because of the oppressors, and he shall send them a Savior and a great one, and he shall deliver them. And the Lord shall be known to Egypt, and the Egyptians shall know the Lord in that day, and shall do sacrifice and oblation. Yea, they shall vow a vow unto the Lord, and perform it. And the Lord shall smite Egypt, he shall smite and heal it, and they shall return even to the Lord, and he shall be entreated of them, and shall heal them. In that day shall there be a highway out of Egypt to Assyria, and the Assyrian shall come into Egypt, and the Egyptian into Assyria, and the Egyptians shall serve with the Assyrians. 
In that day shall Israel be the third with Egypt and with Assyria, even a blessing in the midst of the land. Whom the Lord of hosts shall bless, saying, Blessed be Egypt, my people, and Assyria, the work of my hands, and Israel, mine inheritance. Chapter 20 In the year that Tartan came unto Ashdod, when Sargon, the king of Assyria, sent him, and fought against Ashdod, and took it, at the same time spake the Lord by Isaiah, the son of Amos, saying, Go and loose the sackcloth from off thy loins, and put off thy shoe from thy foot. And he did so, walking naked and barefoot. And the Lord said, Like as my servant Isaiah hath walked naked and barefoot three years, for a sign and wonder upon Egypt and upon Ethiopia, so shall the king of Assyria lead away the Egyptians prisoners, and the Ethiopians captives. Young and old, naked and barefoot, even with their buttocks uncovered, to the shame of Egypt. And they shall be afraid and ashamed of Ethiopia their expectation, and of Egypt their glory. And the inhabitant of this isle shall say in that day, Behold, such is our expectation, whither we flee for help to be delivered from the king of Assyria. And how shall we escape? Chapter 21 The Burden of the Desert of the Sea As whirlwinds in the south pass through, so it cometh from the desert, from a terrible land. A grievous vision is declared unto me, the treacherous dealer dealeth treacherously, and the spoiler spoileth. Go up, O Elam, besiege, O Media, all the sighing thereof have I made to cease. Therefore are my loins filled with pain. Pangs have taken hold upon me as the pangs of a woman that travaileth. I was bowed down at the hearing of it. I was dismayed at the seeing of it. My heart panted. Fearfulness affrighted me. The night of my pleasure hath he turned into fear unto me. Prepare the table. Watch in the watchtower. Eat, drink, arise, ye princes, and anoint the shield. For thus hath the Lord said unto me, Go set a watchman, let him declare what he seeth. And he saw a chariot with a couple of horsemen, a chariot of asses, and a chariot of camels. And he hearkened diligently with much heed. And he cried, A lion! My Lord, I stand continually upon the watchtower in the daytime, and I am set in my ward whole nights. And behold, here cometh a chariot of men with a couple of horsemen. And he answered and said, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, and all the graven images of her gods he hath broken unto the ground. O oh, my threshing and the corn of my floor, that which I have heard of the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, have I declared unto you. The Burden of Duma He calleth to me out of Seir, Watchman, what of the night? Watchman, what of the night? The watchman said, The morning cometh, and also the night. If ye will inquire, inquire ye. Return, come. The Burden Upon Arabia In the forest in Arabia shall ye lodge, O ye traveling companies of Dedanim. The inhabitants of the land of Tema brought water to him that was thirsty. They prevented with their bread him that fled. For they fled from the swords, from the drawn sword, and from the bent bow, and from the grievousness of war. For thus hath the Lord said unto me, Within a year, according to the years of an hireling, and all the glory of Kedar shall fail. And the residue of the number of archers, the mighty men of the children of Kedar, shall be diminished, for the Lord God of Israel hath spoken it. You have just listened to the Bible reading. And we need to take whatever we have learned to the Lord in prayer. Will you all rise up, please? Talk to the Lord in prayer. You've seen a commandment, a warning, an example, an instruction to obey, a promise to claim. Pray for grace that you will do as you have learned in the word of God. In Jesus' name, we pray.
I want the Lord to be what you want me to. I want to find the center of your will. I want to see much less of me and more the Lord of you. Glorified in everything I do. The Lord. If you have your hands there, praise the Lord. What I hear looks like a local village, community, local government clapping. I want a global clapping. Praise the Lord. You will shout tonight. Yes. You will sing tonight. Yes. You will testify tonight yes. of the goodness of God. Yes. 
throughout this crusade, as in all of our lives, we have found the aim to be faithful and to be so, so good. And tonight being the last night, every debris that still remains there, every affliction that still remains there, yoke, infirmity, sickness, any property of the devil, the broom of heaven will sweep everything out of your life. Tonight, after the final amen, please, don't go away. Don't rush away. We must hear what God will do tonight in your life. Don't say, I'll, I'll go back home, I'll share the testimony in my local church. That's good. But that local church, the people there were just here. I want to show your face to the world. Yeah. That you are a partaker. That you are a receiver yeah. of the miracle power of God. Yeah. What's your face? Yeah. I can't even see it very well. Yeah. Anyway, after the meeting, you'll come here. I with my two eyeballs, I will see your face. Because you will discover whatever problem you brought tonight, you'll find out nothing is impossible with God. You will do your own. I said you will do your own. What are you? Raise up that and Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come tonight representing you and saying nothing shall be impossible in any life. And tonight, I pray you will open the heavens. Power, anointing, authority, unction will come down in a mighty, unforgettable way, in Jesus' name. Amen. Show your love. Amen. Show your mercy. Amen. Show your grace. Amen. Show your power Amen. in every life tonight. Amen. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Tonight, you can sit down. God bless you. Sit down in the blessing of the Lord. Tonight, we're wrapping up everything about emancipation. Total emancipation. All round emancipation. Assured emancipation. Present emancipation. Progressing emancipation. And permanent emancipation in your life. But I need to show you, if you want to go and buy something at the groceries in the market, you need to know the way and the path that leads there. For you to have permanent, perfect, great, total, all around emancipation. I need to show you the path that leads there. Especially as we're finishing tonight. The message is the path of total emancipation with triumphant Emmanuel. Emancipation from Emmanuel, total from him that is triumphant. The path of total emancipation with triumphant Emmanuel. Understand, I didn't say from. Yes, it comes from him. I didn't say through. Yes, it's through him emancipation comes. I use the word 
ways that when you are close, walking with him, and you are connected with him, and you are not separated from him, and you are with him, with him, with him all the time. At home, emancipation. At work, emancipation. In the market, emancipation. Anywhere you go, everywhere you find yourself, with him, with him, with Emmanuel. Total, perfect, permanent emancipation in your life. Look at this, Luke chapter 3. And I'm reading from verse 4. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah, the prophet saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his paths straight. The path that gets to him. Make his paths straight. The way, the road. The expressway that we take, take all the bombs, all the pit of pit holes, take everything away, make his path straight. That is what John the Baptist came to do. As Christ was to come, he had to make the path straight so that the people will know the way, they will see the road, and then there will be no bombs there, there will be no pit holes there, they go straight to the Lord. What I come to do tonight is to declare to you the pathway, is to declare to you the road, is to declare to you the expressway that leads to Emmanuel, and once you get to him, emancipation is sure. Look at verse 5. It says in verse 5, Every valley shall be filled. Every mountain and hill shall be brought low. Why? Because if the mountain is there, your path will not be straight and smooth to get to him. But all the mountains are taken away. All the hills are taken away. All the hills are leveled so that Everyone can now come. No hindrance in your way. No obstruction in your way. The sinner will walk through that path and get salvation. The sick will walk through that path and get healing. The depressed and the oppressed and the demonized will come and get deliverance and everyone having any need you will come the road will be so clear the path will be so plain that tonight nothing shall be impossible yeah. let me hear the alpha location yeah. amen and then it says the rough ways shall be made smooth what else do we need that as we are coming to god there will be no hold up. There will be no go slow. There will be no obstruction. There will be no up and down. The way will be made smooth. So if everything is done, if the mountains are removed, if the hills are removed, if the way is made clear, if anyone does not come, you cannot blame anybody. Because now God says for you, in particular, it will make the way so smooth, you will come, you will receive. Amen. Miracle, Amen. salvation, Amen. healing, Amen. deliverance, liberation, and total, and permanent, and perfect emancipation the Lord will give to you even tonight in Jesus name when the way is clear when the road is clear and when the pathway of the Lord leading from where you are to where you ought to be with faith and with grace and with the mercy of God and with the love of God you come to the Lord and you receive, you will receive in Jesus' name. Because of his love, and because of his power, and because with him, all things, 
Somebody help me shout. All things. Everything we need. All the miracle we need. All the things that he himself has prepared for us. He says, tonight, the path to get there. The way to get there. And the road to get there. That tonight, as I give you the instruction. And I show you the way. You will take that way. I will take that way. Say it aloud. And by the grace of God, in the strength of the Lord, by the provision of the Lord, everything will be yours. And then look at verse 6 there. In verse 6 there it says, And all people, everyone, shall see the salvation of the Lord. Tonight, you'll see the salvation of the Lord. There's forgiveness in that salvation. There is freedom in that salvation. There is authority and power in that salvation. There is joy and happiness in that salvation. There is answer to prayer in that salvation. You will have the salvation of the Lord. Full. Complete. The Lord will grant to you tonight in Jesus' name. Once again, the path of total emancipation with triumphant Emmanuel. It's Emmanuel. And the meaning of Emmanuel is God with us. He will be with you. The creator God with us. The redeemer God with us. The all-powerful, the most high God with us. And because he's Emmanuel, is triumphant because he is Emmanuel, he is victorious because he is Emmanuel, he conquers every problem that you have. And tonight, with him, Emmanuel, with him, creator, with him, redeemer, with him, the solution to every problem of life, your way now is clear emancipation, liberation salvation, healing, deliverance, breaking of yoke, and everything available. The Lord will do it in your life in Jesus' name. And all flesh, all people, all men here, all. Are you there? All. Are you there? Are you part of this? And all flesh shall see. I will see. I will see. My brother, there you will see. My sister, there you will see. And all flesh shall see the salvation. That's an all encompassing word. Salvation for the soul and for the body. And for the mind, salvation includes forgiveness, freedom, healing, deliverance, miracle, joy, provision, everything. And you will see the salvation of God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you know, I put strength into my amen so that any force of darkness will know when i say amen i really mean it and tonight in the name of the lord you will see the salvation of god the three things we're looking at in the message tonight number one immediate emancipation number two irreversible emancipation a kind of freedom a kind of liberty, a kind of deliverance, a kind of redemption that is irreversible. That when God, the God of heaven, when he does that in your life, nothing will take it away. Irreversible. Salvation tonight, irreversible. Healing tonight, irreversible. The power of God coming upon your life tonight, irreversible. Number two, irreversible emancipation. Number three, 
interminable emancipation that nothing can halt it, nothing can shut it up, nothing can terminate it, nothing can reduce it to an absolute nothing that, you know, people go back to where they were before. Interminable. Number one, immediate emancipation through faith in Christ. Number two, irreversible emancipation through fellowship and constancy. Fellowship and constancy. Number three, interminable emancipation through faithfulness as conquerors. You'll be a conqueror. I will be a conqueror. And the spirit that conquers and the spirit that overcomes, overcomes every challenge in your life. That spirit, that courage, that mind, that ability and possibility, it will give to you tonight in Jesus' name. Immediate, irreversible, interminable. Number one, immediate emancipation through faith in Christ. Look at Galatians chapter 1, reading from verse 15. But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace, that Saul who became Paul, he knew the moment of time when the call of God came unto him. And he said, it pleased God that of all people, me, an injurious man, me, a sinful man, me, a murderer, me, an evil man, yet it pleased God that is the one that separated me from my mother's womb, but now he called me by his grace. Not by my good works, he had none. Not by my love, he had none. Not by his serving the Lord faithfully, he had none. That's why he said the call, the call to repentance, and the call to salvation and the call to the goodness of God is by grace. Tonight, as the road, the path, the way is made clear and for you to travel on that road and come to the salvation of the Lord, not by the works you have done. Rock of ages cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from the wounded river side which flowed be of sin. The double kill is the one that does it. Could my tears forever flow and my zeal no respite know? All that, all this cannot save. Thou and thou alone must save when I appear before the judgment throne and see thee on thy throne, rock of ages, cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. It is by the grace of God, and as the way is made clear tonight, and you come, salvation will be yours. Immediate salvation, immediate forgiveness. Immediate freedom and joy of salvation in your life. Look at verse 16 there. In verse 15 it said, To reveal the Son in me, that I might preach him among the heathen. Look at the word again. Immediately, 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 I comfort not with flesh and blood. I made up my mind. Grace is available for me. The way is made clear. And because the way is made clear, and he's calling me, he's calling you tonight. I said he's calling you tonight. Anywhere you are, here on the grounds, and there online, the call of God is coming to you. And what Saul did, 
that changed him, that transformed him, and made him part of all the people, all flesh, that will see the salvation of the Lord, is that immediately he conferred not with flesh and blood, he handed over himself unto the Lord. That's how salvation comes. That's how healing comes immediately. Healing. Your healing tonight, instantaneous. Your healing tonight, immediate. Look at Matthew chapter 20. I'm reading from verse 32 there. Matthew chapter 20, verse 32. And Jesus stood still and called them. Called them. To salvation called us. To healing called us. And when Jesus stands still and calls, it means he wants to do something in your life. Where are you? He'll do something tonight. He's calling you. And he's calling you to an immediate emancipation. Look at that again. And then he said, what will you that I shall do unto you? Look at verse 33. In verse 33, they say unto him, Lord, that our eyes, our eyes which are blind, our eyes dim, our eyes that see nothing, Christ says, yes, of course. And then you come immediately. And when you come and get to him, it's asking you, what do you want me to do for you? And with your mouth, you tell him, you ask him. They said that our eyes may be opened. Look at verse 34. It says, so Jesus had compassion on them. Tonight, there's compassion on you. Mercy on you. What's compassion? The Lord looks at your suffering. He looks at your sickness. He looks at your infirmity. He looks at the burden and the load upon your life. He looks at the distress of your life because of your condition, your physical condition, your moral condition, your family condition, your financial condition, the poverty, penury. He looks at everything and he has compassion and he touched their eyes. Look at the word we're looking for. And immediately. Somebody shout immediately. Immediately. immediately their eyes received sight. And they followed him. They wanted to be with him. And stay with him. And dwell with him. And walk with him. That is how. To keep your emancipation. So that the word of God. But the wonder of God will be permanent and irreversible in your life. Number one is immediate emancipation. Look at number two here. Number two, irreversible emancipation through fellowship and constancy. When you abide in the Lord, when you stay with the Lord, and when you say, He saved me. I'm going to stay with him. He healed me. I'm going to hide myself in him. He delivered me. I'm going to dwell with him. It is that that brings irreversible emancipation through fellowship and constantly abiding in the Lord. Abide with me. Night falls and darkness comes and it is only as you abide with me and i abide in you that the emancipation the miracle we receive here will be permanent in your life if you abide in me and my word abides in you if you abide in me constancy and my word abides in you constancy then you shall ask what you will and it will be done for you amen, amen. Yeah. acts of the apostles i'm reading from chapter 2 reading from verse 41 look at this 
Then uh, they that gladly received his word. You know what that means? When they have the word, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus, they accepted. They were happy about it. They said, We've been waiting for somebody to tell us the way and to show us the path to get to that peace of mind and the salvation of the Lord. And so when they heard, it says, They heard gladly and received the word gladly. They were baptized, and the same day they were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Added unto them. Added to the believers that had believed before them. That's why when you give your life to the Lord, you don't go back home and just stay at home. And you don't go back to idols. You come to the church. I don't mean this church or that church. You come to the church. Any church. Exalting Christ. Any church teaching us the Bible. Any church telling us that Jesus is the way, the only way. Whatever the name of that denomination, the church that honors Christ, leads of Christ, and points us to Christ that he is the all in all in our lives. Look at verse 42. In verse 42, and he continues steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and uh, fellowship. Fellowship. And in breaking of bread and in prayers. You know, as you come to the Lord, if you have not come, tonight you will come. Yeah. And as you come, peace of mind. Yeah. Joy of the Lord. Yeah. Salvation of the Lord. Yeah. Healing from the Lord. Deliverance from the Lord. Emancipation from the Lord. Yeah. And then it says they continued in fellowship. And it continued in the apostles' doctrine. Look at verse 43. It says, And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders, many wonders. That's what men, as many as how? As many as the people who are there. I didn't hear you. <laughs> many wonders. You will get your own. You will get your own. On the choir side, there, everyone to the back, you will get your own. Many, many, many wonders. Even me, I will get my wonder. And our ministers, they'll get their wonders. Everyone on my side over here, you will get your wonders. Many, many, wonder for your father, wonder for your mother, wonder for your brother, wonder for your sister, wonder for everyone. You will have something to talk about this week, this month, this year. You will have the wonders of the Lord, wonders of the cross, wonders of recreation, wonders of emancipation, and the wonders of the goodness of God in your life in Jesus' name. You won't say, I, I went there, I was there. One, two, three, four, five, six days I was there, but I don't have anything. Nobody will talk like that. The wonder of the Lord, and the wonder of life, and the wonder of provision, and the wonder of His unction and anointing, and the wonder of His miracle you will have in your life in Jesus' name. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. By not just one apostle, apostle two, three, four, ten, twelve, and how many they are, by the apostles. Anointing will work in your life. Anointing that breaks every yoke will work in your life. Miracles. Deliverances, healings, total freedom. Look at Acts chapter 5. I'm reading from verse 12. Acts chapter 5. We're looking at verse 12. And by the hands 
of the apostles were many. Look at that again. Many. Look at not just one person. My eyes are open. Praise the Lord for one. Then I about two. I about three. I about ten. I about all the people there. Not just one. My deaf ears were open. And my deaf talk started talking. One. Praise God for one. But two and three and four and many. I was lame. Now I'm rising up and walking. Thank God for one. Thank God for two. But we thank God not just for one and two, but for many, it will come upon your life. Yeah. And it says, and by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people, and they were all with one accord. In Solomon's porch. Look at verse 14. In verse 14, it tells us, and the believers were the more added to the Lord multitudes, both men and women. And then in verse 15, it says, in so much that they brought forth the sick into the streets, into the open, and laid them on beds and couches that at the least the shadow of Peter passing by might overshadow some of them. It came to the point that uh, they were not only waiting out for preaching and for praying, uh, as the apostle Peter was walking by, and the shadow fell on them. They were healed. I said they were healed. Now, already we have heard in chapter 3, the voice of Peter healed them. Also, we'll see in chapter 9, the touch of Peter healed the man, touched him and said, Rise up in the name of Jesus. His voice, his touch, his preaching, his prayer, what miracles, and now the shadow. The shadow also watch miracles. If miracles just happen like that, I bought you tonight. You will catch your miracle. And the shadow of Peter passing by over some of them in verse 16. It says in verse 16, And there came also a multitude out of the cities round about unto Jerusalem, bringing sick folks and them which were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed, tell me, and they were healed, everyone, everyone. What does everyone mean? Miss you. Everyone. I said, what does it mean? Miss you. It means you are a partaker tonight, and that miracle you receive will be constant, will be irreversible. Yeah. Look at John chapter 8. In John chapter 8, reading from verse 31, then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, if ye continue. If ye continue. Hold on. Do you know why? It's very difficult when you make a decision, for example, to say something very simple, I'm going to be doing exercise every day because I want to keep my body firm and keep my body the proper weight to my height so that I remain strong and healthy. Do you know why you do it for one day or two days and then you don't continue? Because you are doing it alone. And anything you are doing all alone, you don't generally continue very well. Do you understand why students who stay at home and they say, I'm going to pass that exam all alone by themselves? Do you know why it's difficult for them to continue in their timetable and the schedule of study? All alone, difficult. But when you come to a class 
and you continue with that class and as a teacher a mentor a trainer a coach that is showing you the way because you are in that class of other people doing the same thing that's how we continue that's the reason why believers are here other believers are there and you join yourself to those believers so that you're not just saying my emancipation will continue my salvation will continue everything i've got will continue it's as you come to the team the team the team what does that that mean team t e a m together everybody makes movement and we move upward and we achieve because we are in the team and you join other people and jesus said make it easy for yourself to continue don't stay in isolation somewhere join the church if you continue in my word then ye are ye my disciples indeed look at verse 32 and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free somebody said there pastor tell me again i want to write that word team okay i'll put it properly now together everybody achieves more are you writing you know i'm a teacher too now, together, everybody achieves more. And as you come and you join other people, and you are with other people, and you are together with them in fellowship and constancy, you will be able, by the grace of God, to continue. Your miracle will be irreversible. Your deliverance will be irreversible. And every good thing you have got, emancipation. At this time, what you've got before, what you get today, it will be irreversible in your life in Jesus' name. Number one, immediate. Number two, irreversible. Number three, interminable emancipation through faithfulness and uh, as conquerors you'll be a conqueror yeah. i said you'll be a conqueror yeah. and we have emancipation that is interminable you get born again you get saved you give your life to the lord one week you continue one month you continue one year you continue two years three years until christ will come interminable the devil will not terminate your emancipation sickness will not terminate your emancipation the world will not terminate your emancipation healing permanent Freedom, permanent. Amen. Salvation, permanent. Amen. Deliverance, permanent. Amen. All the grace and the gift of heaven that heaven gives you today, permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. And then, as you are walking and walking, it will come to the time when your mansion is finished over there because the Lord will not take you from here until he has finished your mansion. Amen. He will not say, ah, ah, I wasn't expecting you. You left the world without giving notice. Okay, go stay here in a borrowed mansion. You'll not be in a borrowed mansion in heaven. Your own mansion. Your own room over there. I pray that you will continue. Amen. The grace of God, the goodness of God, the power of God will continue in your life. Amen. 
you'll be a conqueror every day, an achiever every day, an overcomer every day, a victor every day. The amen is dying down. Any brother, Victor over there? Brother, I mean, brother, real, real brother, Victor. Where are you? That Victor of the permanent. Any sister, Victoria over there? Amen. Your voices are louder than the brother, Victor's. Your victory, your triumph, your emancipation will be permanent in Jesus' name. Look at Romans chapter 8, verse 37. Romans chapter 8, we're looking at verse 37. Nay, in all these things, as we are going back home, after the crusade, don't go yet. In all these things, in the classroom, in the market, in the office, on the street, in your house, in your village, in your town, in your city, with your friends, and if enemies are around, among the enemies everywhere, in all these things, we are more than conquerors. You are more than a conqueror through him that loves us. He loves you. He loves me. He loves all of us. That's why he's calling us and he's telling us salvation is for everyone. All flesh shall see his salvation, his emancipation, his healing, his deliverance, and his freedom. And it is for you tonight. And as you get it tonight, it will be permanent in your life. Joy will be permanent. Salvation, permanent. Emancipation, permanent. Liberation, permanent. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. He wants to give you that power that conquers. And anywhere you go and you carry that power on, the interminable emancipation of the Lord as you keep on following him one day at a time, you'll be a permanent conqueror in Jesus' name. Have I spoken to anybody there tonight? <laughs> Any brother there? Any sister there? I want to assure you, all the prophecies that were uttered all these six days, they'll be fulfilled in your life. All the promises that were announced and that were declared, everything is on your head. And this provision of total emancipation, all around emancipation, present emancipation, permanent emancipation, everything fulfilled on your life. Sit down for a moment, sit down for a moment, sit down for a moment, heads bowed and eyes closed. Heads bowed and eyes closed the lord is calling you now you have to have a starting point a commencement point and he's calling you now and he's saying god is ready for you christ the savior is ready for you and as you are giving your life to christ tonight immediately without conferring with flesh and blood and you say yes lord i come i hand over my life sinful life poor life depreciated life shameful life deficient life i hand over my life unto you today lord take me as i am the lord will receive you 
I said the Lord will receive you. And you are coming to the Lord now. You are saying, Lord, here I am. I've had it before. I didn't give myself, but now I give myself to Christ. I want forgiveness. I want freedom. I want salvation. Anywhere you are, raise up that hand on the radio. Raise up your hand. He can see you there. Or over the television there. Raise up your hand. He can see you there. Online, anywhere you are, raise up that hand. He's right there. It will save you. As you are raising up your hand, please stand up so we can identify you and you identify yourself from the crowd. Stand up there. Thank you, brother there. Thank you, sister there. Thank you, boy. Thank you, girl. The Lord has seen it now. Today will mark a turning point in your life in Jesus' name. Keep on standing. Keep on standing. I'm praying with you now. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you, Lord, for this day and this moment of emancipation, freedom, salvation. And you said, all flesh, all men and women, all boys and girls shall see the salvation of God. I pray all these who have raised up their hands and who are standing and they're not ashamed, and they want Jesus, the Savior, to, be, to save them. Save them now in Jesus' name. Set them free. Forgive them. Turn their lives around for the better. And I pray this immediate salvation, immediate emancipation will become irreversible emancipation will become interminable emancipation. Let the joy of salvation come to them and the freedom of salvation come to them and let the strength and the grace and the power to live in newness of life come to everyone right now. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. It is done. I said it is done. Keep on standing. Our counselors are there. They will attend to you. And uh, they will give you the slip to feel. Emancipation has happened. And you are going to carry that salvation throughout your life. Your life will know victory everywhere you go. I call on a moderating pastor tonight to lead us. In this time of counsel, then I'll come back and give you the final prayer that will wrap up everything and something great is coming your way. Praise the Lord for you. As you are taking your decision to join the family of believers, the counselors are around you. Please fill the form, the decision slips given to you correctly. Your name should be properly spelled, write in capital letters. Your address must also be correct. Your telephone number, please look at the digits and ensure that the Digits are correct and they are complete. Please, the counselors, we appreciate all the work you are doing since the beginning of this program. The form you receive, cross check and ensure that the details are correct. While they are taking our details, please let's listen to this pieces of information, especially for our brethren, those who have given their lives to the Lord online. If you are watching us online and you have given your life to Christ, after this message, please visit the link on the screen. slash Connect with Christ. 
and fill the form so you can, we can assist you further in your new work with Christ. And if you are listening to us via radio and television, just give your life to Christ today too. Send your name, your telephone number, and your location address via SMS or WhatsApp to the number showing on the screen. Plus two three four nine one five four four nine two six three plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. We still want to remind you about the Converse Banquet. This is a special online banquet for those online and they are watching through all the social media that there will be this banquet on Sunday, August 7, 2022. We we'll send more information to you very soon. I want to remind you that the convener of this global crusade will be so much delighted that you join the special banquet. And we trust the Lord that you will do. For Global Believers Banquet on Sunday, August 7, 2022. This will take place at various group headquarters. Please take note. Various group headquarters. Time, 4.30 p.m. It's very important that you fellowship with the body of Christ and this will enhance your growth and your stability in the faith. And the Lord will keep you to the end in the name of Jesus. Counselors, please don't forget. Check up the details you are receiving and ensure that they are correct. Go through the details very well. Check the digits of the phone number. Check the correctness of the address. And if you have filled your form, the slip, and you have submitted to the counselor, you can bow down your head and be looking up to heaven in faith. Tonight, it has been prophesied to you all the remaining mountains, they are going to be uprooted. No power, no demon will resist the anointed word of God that is coming out this very night through the chosen vessel of the Lord. Your faith may be small. It doesn't matter to God. Trust the Lord. 
Don't say I've been coming for five days. Nothing has happened. Resist every doubt. Confess to yourself. At the final amen, miraculous hand will touch you. Counselors, please, uh, I believe you have finished. Thank you very much. Now is the time. And the man of God is coming up to declare the word of God that cannot be resisted. Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. There's no doubt in my mind that tonight, the final night, will, will be the final knockoff. Every sickness in your body, emancipation. Immediate emancipation. Irreversible emancipation. Interminable emancipation. We are going to pray. Understand? God loves you. God has compassion on you. God is watching. He's been waiting to touch you, and this is your time. You raise up one hand and lay the other hand on yourself. And you will discover after the final amen, the God that cannot fail. The God of all power. The God of all possibilities. And nothing shall be impossible unto him. And as you believe tonight, it's coming. It's of that hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come on behalf of everyone. Everyone here at the Alpha location, everyone over the radio and before their television and online, everywhere in any country, any nation, oh Lord, descend on them and give them emancipation in Jesus' name. <laughs> Deliverance for everyone. Healing for everyone. Total. Complete. Cure. Healing. Miracle. Deliverance. The breaking of every you. In every life. In Jesus name. Lord. Look at the tears there. Dry up those tears. Take away that suffering. Take away that sickness. From the top of the head to the tip of the toe. I pray, Lord, healing will come to everyone. The spirit of madness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. That spirit of suicide, I command you, Come out in Jesus' name. You are delivered. You are set free. Those who are deaf and dumb, I pray the miracle of hearing and the miracle of speaking receive it right now in Jesus' name. Those who are blind, Lord, you've done it before. You are doing it again. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And if you were physically here, you'll open those blind eyes. And there is no difference. You are the same. I pray. Blind eyes be touched right now. Be opened right now. Begin to see very well in Jesus name the swelling of goiter hunchback elephantiasis hernia fibroid any kind of swelling in your body is foreign it should not be there 
I command, come out in Jesus' name. Do so have respiratory problem, asthma. You cannot breathe well. Almost getting suffocated. Lord, clear. Amen. That valve and let them breathe normally. And all the sound, extraneous sound coming uh, as a result of that uh, asthma. Heal them in Jesus' name. Amen. Cancer, be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Ulcer, be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Tuberculosis, be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. HIV AIDS, be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, the so have stroke, hands dried up, leg dried up, life. Resurrection life. Healing life. Come on that stroke. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. The lame, paralyzed, or broken bone, whatever your condition, I send forth the healing virtue of the Lord upon you right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. You've got it. Rise up and walk. Lord, any sickness, any infirmity, pile, whatever, everyone, everywhere now, receive your healing. Receive your miracle. Lord, I pray that the power of heaven, your majesty, your mercy, your miracle will spread everywhere. Right, left, at the back, in front, at the middle, in the Yoruba language, the class there, everywhere, in this nation, in every nation, outside Africa, Within Africa, let your power spread everywhere right now. Heal them. Deliver them. Set them free. Total emancipation. Immediate right now. Confirm it in every life. In Jesus' name I pray. It is done. It is done. There's nothing else you are waiting for. Just check up yourself and you will see the Lord has visited you. Check up, check up. It's there. Demonstrate it and you come to give your testimony.